Happy February, Royals. Guess what? We about to go on a trip. My name is Rokia, also known as Miss Queen Ro. I am a full-time entrepreneur working as a brand strategist, part-time digital content creator, and happy Black History Month. I mentioned in my last behind the scenes working vlog that I'm going to be, you know, a little extra in February. Look, I represent Black History all year, 365 plus one like this year. But in February, I am always a little extra. So you're going to see some earrings. You want to see them? You want to see them? See? Isn't that cute? That's cute. Some earrings, a shirt, whatever. Oh, my nails. See my nails? Represent. So yeah, we're going to be a little extra. <laughs> but today is Sunday, January. Today is February 11th, Super Bowl Sunday. Look what I'm watching now. Super Bowl. It's kind of slow right now because, first of all, my team is not playing. My team is the Eagles and they're not playing. But I'm not even, it's on mute for a reason. Not just because I'm on the camera with you guys, because these are not my teams. The, the, the Chiefs and the 49ers. And honestly, we in the second quarter and it's three to zero. I'm just waiting for us to come on. That's all I'm waiting for. And this is the start of a very going to be productive week because like I said in the introduction, I have a trip coming up and it's not to the end of the week. So this week is going to be like sort of like a, like a maintenance type of day in the life. I'm going to get my nails done, redone, and I have to get my hair done and some other things that's happening. So stay tuned. But before I do that, before we get into the weekend doing that, um, as you can see, this is the evening time. So I'm about to take it down. But I want to show you what we did this morning. Uh, Reagan uh, was, it, today was Reagan's time to sing and they had a black history kind of moment, memoir type thing. So take a look at this. Not easily, but somehow got around it. Is it just the fact that Negroes are black? White America must see that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. Uh, that is one thing that other immigrant groups haven't had to face. The other thing is that the color became a stigma. American society made the Negroes color a stigma. America freed the slaves in 19, I mean 1863 through the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land or nothing in reality, and as a matter of fact, to, to get started on. At the same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base. And yet it refused to give its black peasants from Africa who came here involuntarily in chains and had worked free for 244 years any kind of economic base. And so emancipation for the Negro was really freedom to hunger. It was freedom uh, to the winds and rains of heaven. It was freedom without food to eat or land to cultivate and therefore it was freedom and famine at the same time. And when white Americans tell the Negro to lift himself by his own bootstraps, they don't, oh, they don't look over the legacy of slavery and segregation. I believe we ought to do all we can and seek to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. But uh, it's a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And many Negroes, by the thousands and millions, have been left bootless as a result of all of these years of oppression and as a result of a society that deliberately made his color a stigma and something worthless and degrading.
wasn't she cute? She had her little picket sign, don't beat, marching. <laughs> but I had to teach her what it really meant because she just thought she was just going to be, you know, holding the sun. I'm like, no, hun, this was our history. This is your history. You know, our ancestors fought for us to have things like voting rights and civil rights and be, be able to for you to go to school and you can have all kinds of friends and not just one set of friends. So I had to explain to her, which I she learned a little bit in school, but and throughout her what, 11 years of life, I've taught her a little bit at a time. But today, because they were really engulfed in the moment, I really wanted to explain to her what it meant. So when we were making the sign, I kind of really explained to her. She was like, oh, so this is about the Martin Luther King and the Rosa Parks people that I learned in school. Yes, you're, you're connecting the dots. Yes, that's that's it. All right, but like I said, I'm about to take it down. Usher's about to come on. We're gonna watch the halftime show. And then we gonna do something else different tomorrow. <laughs> Not Sherry looking at the Usher <laughs> halftime show. Come on, Sherry. Just in case y'all were wondering, yeah, even at 40-something, Usher can still dance. Why well, y'all tell me Alicia was going to pop in? Come on, Alicia. Yep. What? Nothing at all. Yes, Alicia. I got you, baby. I know, Sherry. I know. Quiet. You want to hear it? Okay. My, my bad. My bad. You want to hear? The, you want to hear the re the real thing? He is bringing his whole Vegas show back to Vegas during the Super Bowl. I heard he was on skates during the Vegas residency. Come on, Usher. Um, one word. Fire. Usher's concert was fire, brought the whole ATL crew represented. Yeah, um, tickets go on sale tomorrow, best believe. I'll be looking to go here in Charlotte. Just fire. He brought the whole Vegas show to the Super Bowl. Fire. Good morning, Royals. It is Monday. Who stayed up to watch the rest of the Super Bowl? I did not. Pretty much after Usher, I fell asleep because I knew today Monday, I would have a full day of chores and activities to get done. I told you I am in vacation mode and I am prepping for the week. So today, woke up around 7 a.m., got a lot done, actually vacuumed, mopped, and swept both floors this morning. I already did one load of clothes, got another load of clothes in, changed out the little plug-ins so that we can have some smell goods after the floor has been mopped and cleaned and vacuumed. Um, oh, uh, I've been collecting clothes to put uh, to give to Goodwill. Got those packed up, ready to go out of here this week. And oh, and I cleaned my brushes. That really needed to be done because I'm not trying to go on a trip with dirty brushes. Yeah, so I got a lot accomplished, worked out, and cleaned myself up. Now I'm about to head to the office so that I can get some good computer work done. Checking out the tickets for Usher coming in October to Charlotte. Good gracious, 258 people already ordered tickets in the last 48 minutes. I want to say that the gray means that people have already ordered or that they're already filled up. Jeez, look at the prices. I mean, these are definitely uh, Beyonce prices. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what I can get. Yeah, I'm going to wait. The ticket prices are actually pretty reasonable. Like the higher ones are like running for like 289, under 300. But that's a reasonable price, but the, you're talking about you're like in the risers and I don't like paying that much for a ticket and I'm that high. And then not to mention I feel like I'm going to fall over cuz I'm already afraid of heights. I don't really like heights. So it's like way up there in the in, in the center. I don't want to pay that price and then feel like I'm going to fall. So <laughs> I'm willing to pay that price if I'm lower. <laughs> yeah, the floor seats running for about two, three thousand dollars mm. I'm going to wait. Something's telling me to wait because when Beyonce came here, she her tickets were, uh, you know, running these prices even a little higher. But some people were able to get Beyonce tickets, good seats for like under a hundred dollars last minute because they're trying to get rid of the tickets or people have like buyer's remorse and they sell their tickets back. So I'm going to wait. It's not till October. 
if it sells out, it sells out. Honestly, I've seen Usher in concert before. It was in Atlanta. It was many years ago. But and I know he's come a long way since then. But I think they're just like really high because he just performed at the Super Bowl and he's taking advantage of this, which, hey, I, I don't blame him. <laughs> but I'm just going to wait. If I don't go, I don't go. It's okay. Happy Tuesday, friends. I was supposed to go out last night. So I was getting ready to vlog for you guys, but um, it was raining really hard and it was supposed to be a Galentine's night. Uh, if you don't know what Galentine's is, basically is when a bunch of girls go out to celebrate each other around Valentine's Day and to celebrate love and, you know, the friendship. But like I said, it was raining and none of us feel, felt like driving in the rain. So we rescheduled that for when I get back from vacation. I'm getting ready to head to the gym. Um, I do have a few things to do after I leave the gym. So I'm taking you along with me. So today is gonna be a little bit more of an interesting day. Tuesday workout is complete. Just grabbed a smoothie. Let's go get my nails done. Nails are fire. Chintana did a great job as usual. I think I'm ready for my trip. No, not really. Actually heading to the mall to get one more thing. I'm going to this store, Sun and Ski Sports. I don't ever go to the store. What am I doing in the store? They are some sneakers that I want. I think they're called like the On Clouds. They're supposed to be like some really comfortable sneakers and I know we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So let's go see if I can find some that I like. I think I like this color. I mean, I know I did not want all, want all white, but I don't know if I really want a color either because I have a lot of sneakers that have color in them. And I kind of like this one. I wanted something with black in it. So now let's try it on to see the fit. So of course they don't have my size. That's the more popular one, the white and black one. He said he does have this one. And a seven. I do like this one, but I was really looking to go to white and black. I mean, this is an option, which I don't even know if he has this one. I didn't even ask. So I don't know. We'll see. He's about, he's looking actually if there's another location that can have it delivered here by tomorrow. Well, looks like it's a no-go. There is none in the other stores. All he says is that is there only a seven in this color. And honestly, these feel kind of tight. So I'm not, I don't know. Well, that's a no-go. I'm not paying $150 for some sneakers and they tight, so that's not gonna work. All right, just go look in my closet and see what I have. So some of the girlies have been talking about this new store, Primark. Let's go in here and see what they have. At first glance, this looks like an H&M. I mean, the prices are like H&M kind of prices. Maybe a little cheaper. But uh, yeah, it looks just like an ATM. I mean, the store has like house house stuff. 
And then it has baby stuff. Okay, so it has kids things. Now I might come back in here for, for Reagan one day. But I don't know, this store just seems like overwhelming to me. I'll come back one day. Right now, I wasn't in the mood to shop for anything else other than sneakers, so I just feel overwhelmed. But it is a store that I'll come back to. I like the prices. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? <laughs> what is your observation in life? What is your plans? What is your future? What your goals are for like making as far as making money? What you like to do? You would like it. I love making vlogs. But yes, I like watching YouTube. How you guys doing? <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Her energy is fire. <laughs> What's your name, honey? Imani. Imani, nice to meet you, Imani. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> She was cute and she was nice, so I had to support her, you know, support black business owners. I just bought some earrings. The earrings are cute. See, little elephants. Well, not little, but they're cute. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day, girl. You got your pink on, just for that. Look at Happy Valentine's, Sherry. Happy Valentine's, Sherry. Yay. Happy Valentine's, Reagan. Reagan. Yay. <laughs> All right, time to get up for school. What are you doing? Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Showing out. It is many hours later than when you saw Ray me raking up Reagan this morning. In fact, it is 2.46 on this busy Wednesday, Valentine's Day. First off, happy Valentine's once again. I wish everyone a great day of love, even if you don't have anybody to love, and I hope you have at least somebody, be sure to at least love on yourself. As you can see, I have gotten my trip hair done. That's one reason why I didn't have time to come on this morning. I had to rush out, drop Reagan off, and go straight to the hair salon. Uh, I did make a video short about that process, so it, by the time this video comes out, it would have already been posted. So just check out my last one of my last shorts. You'll see the process, uh, meet the story that I tell on getting my hair done. My parents will be here later on today, actually tonight. So, but before that, uh, we have to finish cleaning. I did a lot of cleaning on what Monday, but we need to do the bathrooms today. I need to clean the sheets. I know some of you guys are saying, "Why are you doing so much cleaning?" And it's just your parents. Well, I was taught when you have guests in your house, no matter who it is, you need to make sure your house is clean before they step in. So, and not to mention, besides that, if God blesses you with something, you should be able to take care of it and make it look nice and presentable. So it don't matter if it is my parents, it's still going to be clean and tidy in this house. And uh, if your house, if you don't do this before guest comes in, don't invite me. Before I start cleaning, we just got home. Um, I had, like I said, Reagan only had a half a day today. Maybe I didn't say that. She only had a half a day today, so I just got home. It's almost three o'clock, and we went to the grocery store, so I do have a quick haul for you all. And then I have some work to do on the computer, and then I'm gonna go finish cleaning. So, um, all right, let me show you, you guys what I got. My parents usually buy their own thing when they get here, but I, I do like to have some food so they're not scrounging going straight to the store when I get here, but uh, I bought some snacks for Reagan. Um, so sugar-free ice cream for my dad. He likes sugar-free for health reasons. Uh, some milk. I am in the mood for a Caesar salad, but adding tuna to it. I'm gonna put this in the crock pot, these chicken thighs for my parents when they have something to eat tonight or tomorrow. Some cereal for Reagan, some rice for my mom. And this is one of my snacks for my trip. Uh, pancake mix, bananas. Reagan says she wanted bananas for a smoothie. Okay, that's between her and my mom. <laughs> um, went to another store. Oh, and then some orange juice from the grocery store. And then I went to another uh, dollar store, family dollar store, and bought oven cleaner, furniture polish. Again, got to do a little bit of cleaning. Training pads for Shuri. Definitely need this. About to get on a plane, and I don't know about you guys, but I get motion sickness. Comment below if you get motion sickness on the plane. And then because this is a family trip, <laughs> I need to make sure I'm getting some type of sleep. Let me buy some pills just to make sure I can get there. Yeah, I needed some gloves to finish cleaning today. So that was a quick haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put this food away and everything, and then I gotta get on the computer to do some work.
in the face. In the face. <laughs> 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 so sweet stay tuned for the next vlog where you find out where i'm going oh but if you want to know real time be sure to follow me on instagram miss queen row bye